What's up, guys? Yeah. Joel Valley from Media Glitch here, and I am here with John from Intrigue Gaming. Really? I'm here with Radical <laughs> Reggie, He's always who's always ready. And uh, this is our Saturday night live stream that we have. All the family is in the chat right now, and uh, we're going to have a good time tonight. We're going to play some video games, but every, every Saturday before we start playing, one of us brings a topic. I brought one the week before. John brought one last week. Reggie, it's your turn to bring a topic. What topic are you bringing to the table for me, for John, for the chat? What do you got for us today? All right, so this is going to be a weird one, and I don't know where it's going to go, but um, I always thought about what was the end game of collecting games. You know, like most of us, we collect games to play them, of course. You want to have a library of games, but where do you see yourself with your collection, maybe possibly years from now? What do you want to do? with? Do you think you'll keep it all? Do you think you'll eventually get rid of it, go digital? I mean, I just want to know what some people's end game is when it comes to like uh, like certain game or just their collections in general. So like, what's the reason for all this collecting? Yeah. Right. <clears throat> yes, yeah, pretty much. Because here's a point that people always bring up, right? And that is, are you ever going to play all those games in your lifetime? Right. You know? And exactly. Like, look at this wall, right? You think I'm going to be able to beat all those games in my lifetime? I'm already old. <laughs> I'm like the grandpa here on YouTube. I'm like the oldest one out of all. Oh, Grandpa Joel. Grandpa Joel <clears throat> in the house with your spouse. Get off and, his lawn. And so, yeah, get off my lawn. So, yeah, like that, I mean, that's a uh, a point. I'll let you guys, I'll let John, what, what's the end game for you as far as a collector? Well, right now, I don't even know if I've thought about that. Like, is there an end game? I don't know. Um, I mean, do they sell but the reason... I don't know. Do you like, put when them in is a museum? good time to sell? Like Indiana Jones? It belongs no, in a museum. I'm not Indiana Jones, man. Um, Chrono Trigger you know, belongs the, in a uh, museum. The ending of it with the. Uh... But anyways, <laughs> um, in ten years from now, I think my collection will adapt and grow because that's what it's done so far for the last five years. Um, I'm starting to get rid of cartridge-based games now, like. Nintendo and Genesis and Super Nintendo and just really holding on to the games I play. Um, so I have a really nice collection of a curated collection of all these games I like to play. Right. So I would think uh, my end game would be 10 years from now just to have a really great curated collection. It would probably be a lot different. I mean, I might not have a lot of retro things because it gets, as I think technology advances, it gets harder to play those. So mm -hmm. I have like the Mega SG and the um, the Mega or the Super NT to play these retro games on SD cards, and then when it comes to like PS4, but ten years from now, PS4 and Switch stuff will probably be collectible. The kids that are growing up now, mm -hmm. so who knows, man? It's so hard to say in ten years. I would say it would be a lot more curated. I won't just buy games to have them, or because mm -hmm. when I initially started collecting. I wanted to get the whole Sega collection because growing up, I wanted all the Sega games. I could never get it, but now maybe I can actually do that. Okay. So that's hard to say, man. I would definitely say I would have a more curated collection and it'll be a lot smaller because I think uh, room is something that is good to have. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, for me, you know, um, my collection is always changing, adapting, I would say, as well. Um, I would say that my collection will probably be like more of a, a CD DVD based collection instead of like cartridge type stuff. Um, I have downsized on a lot of some cartridge stuff like Genesis games and stuff like that. But I, you guys know me. I'm very picky about what I want in my collection, what, what I want, what I have. So um, I see myself like years from now, probably still having most of this stuff, you know, but like I said, it'll always, it'll probably mostly like DVD CD type stuff. Um, I know a lot of people like hit you up and say, hey, man, do you play all these games and everything like that? And yes, I do. But like they want you to complete them and everything like that. Like not every game is meant to be beaten. You know what I mean? You just want to have fun with them. Like obviously something like Daylight. I mean, that's just to have fun here and there. Well, you can't beat that game. But um, I feel like, you know, as long as you're having fun with it, you know, just keep what you what's entertaining you. And then like really try to test out all your games to make sure you, you'll possibly want that game. 
because sometimes we get pumped up on games that we want to buy. Oops. And um <laughs> and it's like um we get them and then we don't we don't play them right away sometimes or whatnot or we play them a little bit and then we put them down and you know forget about them and stuff like that. So um I want to make sure that you know I don't really do that. You know I want to make sure I'm I'm knocking like I'm playing these games and finding if I really want them or not. So um sorry if this this sounded all like you know, all crazy and everything, but um. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, like I, I, I feel like my collection will be it. I think oh. what we're, I think what we're saying basically is, um, our collections will continue to evolve over time. Right. It, it's like ever changing. Like what I was interested in a year or two ago, I might not, I'm not really, might not necessarily be interested in now. So I might be getting rid of some of those games and buying other games that I'm more interested in. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's going to continue, I guess, throughout the years. So it's ever right, evolving, right. which I like about it. You know, you're always learning. So. Are you saying that you're you're going to accept the digital age, John? You, you embrace it? I, I pretty much have when it comes to PC games for like the last 10 years. Um, I think there'll be always collector type limited run style things going on for consoles, but it's inevitable. Maybe 10, right. 15 years. Yeah, in the future, a lot of people like feel, like feel like their collections will be worth money and they can sell them and like that stuff. And maybe that's true or not. I don't know. I mean, you never know what the value will be for certain stuff. It might go down. It might go up. So, you know, but still, it's it's nice to know that if you did want to get rid of it, that you could sell it for maybe a little bit of profit. But, um, yeah, yeah, I guess that's all I have to really say about it. Um, very weird uh, topic for me at least to think about because it's like man like like i said it's always changing so um you never really know but i figure as long as games are entertaining to me you know i'll keep i'll keep buying them so um that's my story and i'm sticking to it <laughs> i think my end goal <clears throat> and i already i think i mean my end goal is that most of this stuff that you see behind me is going to be gone in all honesty um at some point yeah once I well, unless my kids go, hey dad, I want, I want, the PS2 collection, then I'd be like, yeah, okay, have it, right? I mean, it ends up it's is there's any way because if I did sell it, it would just go to their college and stuff like that, whatever. Right. Not that I have any enough to even pay for their college, but, <clears throat> um, I think that as like, when I know that like, Mike Tyson's punch out can be emulated with no lag and it's beautiful right. and it's perfect when we get to that point i can get right. rid of like i mean you can't see it but there's a super there's a nintendo right here you know what i mean yeah on top box of nintendo yeah. that i take out once a year so i can beat mike tyson's punch out why because i can't beat it on emulation right why can't i beat it on emulation because not it doesn't it, there's always a delay there's always something but one day they're going to crack the code they're going to crack the code to everything Mm -hmm. And all those, all these games are going to be available easily and not take up so much room. And to me, it's not about, oh, there are some things that I'll always have. Like I have that road to recovery list and those are the games that I grew up on. Those are the games that I loved, right? Those are the games that I will probably always keep. I always mm -hmm. have them, you know, because it's more than just a game. It's more than just playing the game. It's the box. It's the, it's the instruction manual. It's, it's looking through that. Yeah. Um, it's that, that memory of it. I remember, like back in the day, getting a new game, and I'll be in the back seat of the car, and it'd be dark, yeah. and I'd be trying to read the manual to get a sneak peek of what I went back to the experience. <laughs> exactly. You know? So there's, 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 like, and there's stories behind games, and there's those things. I and and there are some new games like that, you know, like I won't well, ever think of Dead by like Daylight and not think about you guys and how much time we spent in it, you know, stuff like right. that. Yeah. You know, but as for for the most part, I think like I'm not. Everything is just it's it's all going to burn one day. Right? Like, so yeah. I'm like, I'm, I am, I'm the guy that's like, even when something happens bad to a game or whatever, or my car or, you know, something disastrous happens. I'm always like, well, you know, it was just, it's just material items. Mm -hmm. It's not like a person's life. It's not like, you know what I mean? The, the, that's the stuff that I that I care about, you know. So I don't get emotionally attached to things, you know. So if the yeah. day if, if the day came and it's like more of a luxury to have than a, a need or a must. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like if the day came, you know, like 
because the world we live in and no one's job is promised tomorrow, <laughs> you know, and stuff like yeah. that. And I have to sell my collection. I won't even think twice. I'm like, boom. The other day I sold my whole, not the other day, but what, a couple weeks ago, I sold my whole PSP collection. Yeah. And, and, uh, and that was, I had a, I had a lot of stuff, man. I had a lot of stuff and I just did, did it. You sell because, that Ease game? No, I got the, I kept the two Ease games. Oh, but that's a lot of, you could have got a lot of. They rate me for that. Joke. Well, what's crazy is I almost got the same exact price of what I wanted for that lot without those two e games. These games. Mm. How are you gonna play them now? I'm just playing. <laughs> you just like to have them because. Well, if you look, if you, you look up here, there's my e shelf. Yes. You know, so they're right there, and I still want to get. I think is it e seven that completes the y and the s on the side by on the side of the labels. I believe so on the uh, PSP ones. Yeah, so, and then I'll get the the collector's editions. Like, honestly, like what I call like e stuff is probably what I collect the most. I feel like so that's dear to the heart, pretty much. So exactly. that's the stuff you. Everything you else, man. If it gets emulated, and it, and it does really well, and I can, and I have to get rid of this stuff at some point, I'll get rid of mm -hmm. it. Except for like anything Road to Recovery, like Revenge of Shinobi. All the, those games, Mystic Defender stuff, I played a ton when I was a kid. Okay. You know? Um, I guess, well, before we, we probably cut out here, um, I was thinking, Joel, would you, am I, your friend is in need of an Ease 9 collector's edition. Would you be willing to sell yours to them? It depends on the friend, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> the friendship status. <laughs> is this where you rank in that friendship status, Rich? Made it mad. Oh, we got another caller coming. I can't bring in a caller. Don't do it. It'll mess up the whole thing. No, no! Why'd you I do didn't. it? I didn't do it. I didn't push anything. <laughs> I didn't push anything. I didn't do it. I, I don't know what happened. I, I didn't no, push I anything. I'm not messing with the layout right now, man. I'm not messing with the okay. layout. I don't... <laughs> Whoever's trying to call, wait. I dismissed it. There. Just wait, because it, it did It did, It did. did fix itself. Uh, I'm no, we you know what it was is when they called me, it was gonna put them in there, and then the layout would have. It did mess up for a minute. I saw it. Um, but uh, what was I gonna say? What were we talking about? We're wrapping it up. We're wrapping it up with ease. Talking about ease and the in-game collection type stuff. So, yeah, because like, yeah, it they are in the end they are just games, which seems weird to say. Um, mm -hmm. and and I don't think I'm gonna play everything that you see behind me. It would take forever. But I do mm -hmm. like the fact of knowing like, hey, oh man, I wanted to check that out. And I have it right there. Or like yeah, someone in the stream has really said, hey man, you should play this, you should play this. And I have it right there, you know? Right. Uh, that's cool. And, and and honestly, like we do a stream, right? So we, we're we all streamers outside of when we even do this stream. So like, you know, it's good to have variety that people can watch us play as well you know because i would get bored i do get bored of, of streamers that stream the same game all the time that's all they stream mm -hmm. just that one game i get bored so it's good to have that right you know so i'll ask the chat what you know because we always take a couple questions from the chat before we wrap what is the end game to your guys's collection you know what is it all for what's the reason behind it all you know what i mean Why do you do it yeah why do you do it? Why do you enjoy it? Um, why would you get rid of it? Um, there's all kinds of questions you could ask yourself when it comes. You buy them for display to show them off, or I mean, what what's going on? Yeah, these are, I want to know for some people. Let's see. Uh, I will never get rid of my Zelda games. Period. Yeah, like if it's a series too, you know. Here's one for me. I would never get rid of my Tales of series. I love that series dearly. Um, I even have a shrine for it back here. So, um, yeah, the Tales games are very, very, uh, they, they really mean something to me. Right. So that's yeah. something I would always. I have the only thing I would probably try to keep is I have my original Nintendo 64 from when I was a kid, <clears> but that's the only thing I had from when I was a kid. Everything else, I really, you know, I, if I had to, I would get rid of it. Expansion pack and all is included with your N64. You, you guys, since the yeah, kid? man. Well, I didn't have an expansion pack back in the day, man. I was a poor kid, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I have it now. 
which uh, which is good. Uh, SC4 is a system I always, like, I don't know, man, I like it, but I always could get rid of it and sell it. And it's an easy system to collect. Yeah, I'll for. keep it just because I had so much memories, and that's the system I had at the time. I didn't have the PlayStation. But other than that, everything else really doesn't have, I mean, it has nostalgia, but it doesn't really, it's just material things, like Joel said earlier. Right. Okay. So in the chat, uh, Christian Gonzalez says, uh, pass down history to the younger generations, which I talked about if my kids said, hey, yeah. Dad, I want the Super Nintendo stuff. Yeah, It's theirs. I'm like, okay, I'll, I don't yeah. care. Take it, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So I, I, I agree with that. Um, you would give it to them even if they destroy like a $100 game? They wouldn't, man. All my kids have been trained up as collectors. Okay. So they know. <laughs> if they I get my kid a $100 game, she might like... So they know how to take, they know how to, they know they, how to take comic they out. They get prettier with like updating the artwork or something. You know? No, no, no. Uh, Max only says I'm keeping my Persona and Fire Emblem games. Mark Harris says I get rid of the games I cannot beat. Mm. Or if go. I can't beat, them. Right. yeah, if I can't beat them, yeah. Um, Austin says I don't know. I just became, it just became my passion. I love playing, displaying, hunting obscure titles. Collecting community is something I love to be a part of, and that is like, dude, if we didn't collect. If we didn't do what we yeah. did right here, we never met. We would not be friends, <clears throat> and we're not just Very like, true. you know, Saturday Night Lovers here, right? We actually talk throughout the week. You mm -hmm. know, we're always talking, we're always hanging out, we're making jokes. You know, we're trolling each other. Well, well, you know, Reggie trolling me mostly on my channel. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you know, but you know, we're friends, man. We're friends, and that never would have happened. Had we not been collectors, I think, you know, or, and, right. and started the channel and ended the passion. And, and, and I say this, man, there are people in the chat that, man, they're here every Saturday, man. Yeah. And they're on every Maybe stream and they are supporting us. And they're, they're, Ryan. they're hanging out They're When I'm doing an 11, like Miami sunrise, I did an 11 hour stream of ease. And that dude was there. The whole time. <laughs> yeah, I did those long races. And I'd be like, stream. dude, go do something. He, but he's there too, man. You know, it's like, awesome. it's all, and it's crazy, you know? And we would never have met all you guys, all you awesome people, if we weren't doing this. Mm. You know what I mean? That's right. I guess that's our topic, huh? Yeah, yeah. That was a really good one, man. Um, yeah, good one, Reggie. Yeah, I get it, man. It brought us all together, which is fantastic. So, um, yeah. So, I love the topic. I'll just end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to continue streaming some games, but as far as our this portion of the stream, uh, and if you're watching this later, uh, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, leave us a comment below. What are, what do you? Why do you collect? You know, and how long will you collect? Will you ever sell it? And uh, yeah, hit that bell button to get all the notifications, all that good stuff. Hit the subscribe button, and and most of all, most importantly, go check out. Radical Reggie's channel. Go check out Intrigue Gaming's channel. They need yes, some they, love. If they're ever want to get as big as me, you're gonna need to go and subscribe to them. So uh, Joe, one more thing, man. Before yeah. we end this, do you you sure you don't want to give up that Ease Nine? You know, maybe get like a. You're not a getting regular my Ease Nine, Reggie. This episode, no matter what, this episode's over. <laughs>